Hi all, it's Rio Cloud Sync. In today's episode, I'm going to be discussing the migration piece from legacy multi-factor authentication and legacy self-service password reset in conjunction with Microsoft's announcement of it being deprecated from September 2024. It was previously January 2024, they've now pushed it back a couple of months. Legacy MFA and SSPR were a great step towards zero trust. However, incorporating that into a single pane of glass is even better. Therefore, Microsoft are now in the process of providing guidance to end users about the migration between legacy to modern. Please remember, whenever I do refer to legacy multi-factor authentication, I'm talking per user MFA and self-service password reset on the console, i.e. if we scroll down here, we select password reset. This is the legacy console where I can select selected security groups or all users. I can also go back, I can select users and I can select per user MFA. And this is the legacy console in terms of multi-factor authentication with the associated service settings to select the authentication methods. As you can see, there's two separate consoles for managing two separate instances. However, Microsoft are combining those two instances and placing it into a single pane of glass. What is a single pane of glass? We're talking about the authentication methods policy. So if we scroll down, we can click, we can select security. We can scroll down to manage where we see authentication methods. And you'll see here a policy tip explaining exactly what I've just advised. In terms of the authentication methods policy, this provides a high level migration path, path towards your end customers, migrating to a unified administration for all authentication methods. What we see here is plenty of end, end customers using SMS, phone call, not recommended. The recommended is either Fido tokens, Microsoft Authenticator app, preferably using the, the phone sign-in, process rather than the push notification or any other third party OAuth tokens. What Microsoft gives us is a phase migration approach in terms of moving these legacy auths over to the new modern way of doing it. We can select manage migration. We've got three paths, pre-migration, migration in progress and migration complete. Dependent on where your organization sits as it stands, i.e. I'm already user per user, I'm already using SSPR. Microsoft will always already predetermine where your migration status is. So for this example, I'm, I'm using both, which I am now in the status of migration is in progress. Use policy for authentication and SSPR, respect legacy policies. So what does this mean? What does it mean for all of them? Use policy for authentication only, respect legacy policies. Use policy for authentication SSPR, respect legacy policies, and use policy for authentication SSPR, ignore legacy policies. So in terms of pre-migration, -mi pre use policy for authentication only, respect legacy policies. So what it's saying, this is, this is pre a predetermined check only on your MFA authentication methods only, and not your associated SSPR. So what it's saying is, if you've already got per user MFA um, settings enabled, that will take precedence over this for the time being. Migration in progress, you're using both legacy MFA per user and self-service password reset. Therefore, those policies should be uh, should take precedence for the time being until you've fully migrated over, over. And then you've got migration complete, which means you'll solely be using the, the configuration within this console and this console only. More details can be found in the documentation, which I will show you shortly. Let me let me walk you through an example where a user who belongs to a particular group um, and, and, and how it's all predetermined. Say for example, I've got user A, they're in the sales department, they want to register for Microsoft, the Microsoft Authenticator app. The registration process first checks the authentication methods policy. Okay if you're in the predefined state of fully migrated migration complete 
Okay. If the if the group, the sales group, is enabled for the Microsoft Authenticator, the user can register for it. Okay. I.e. that is set to yes. If not, the registration process then checks legacy MFA policy. So it will divert back to per user MFA, which is found in here. And it would use the, the select methods in here, which takes precedence. If the user can't register for my, uh, the Microsoft Authenticator app based on either of those policies, the registration process checks the legacy SSPR policy. So once again, we'll go back here. We'll scroll down to password reset, authentication methods, and it will use one of these. So all in all, this is this is documented in the Microsoft Docs. First doc I will share in the description is managing authentication methods for Azure AD. This takes you through the prerequisites in terms of having those converged methods of authentication. Takes you through the differences between legacy and modern. And the migration steps, which I've just covered. In greater detail, there is another doc, which provides you a high level scope in terms of that migration and how to complete Z migration. I will link both in the description. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Thank you.